Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with, I think, game number nine, two, four, six, eight. Game number eight. Oh, close, but not quite. That means I fucked up the last game, but, you know, then we'd be 100% professional. We can't have that. Yeah, we're on a game it's eight. Un that's, that's unacceptable. It's all good. It's Mr. All good. Maximus Black. Yeah. Hit me up with the sound of having the best replays. We've got, like, the best replays, you know. I'm tired of China taking our jobs. <laughs> and I'm in the Mexicans raping. <laughs> Build a wall. I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> can't keep it straight. China. Some Jainas. I don't. I don't. I don't know who Putin is. China. He said some nice things about me, though. He did. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Let's go. Oh, down here, the bottom left position of the galactic process. We have uh, Philly Jilly. Philly Jilly. And in the top right, we have Evo Mania. Look at this, Evo Mania, giving us a little bit of excitement here. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. It's a, it's a change up. Hopefully we get something fancy. It's a ZVZ and it's a cheese match. Yeah. This guy's getting a fast pool too, so. And this guy l legitimately is right at his natural. He didn't even bother like putting it here or, you know, up here or, you know, over here or wherever he could fit it. He's just saying, you know what? Come get it. Come and get it. The pool is done. The lings are going to be on the way here for Philly Dilly. Or Jilly. And here comes three drones. Philly Dilly. Philly Dilly. <laughs> Philly Dilly. Oh, God. That sounds like that sounds like a bad Philly cheesesteak that they put pickles on top of. Philly Dilly. Sounds good. I'd eat that. Oh, Philly cheesesteak with pickles? Mm hmm You know, I had a... I had a... Dude, I have... I don't know what's up with me, but when it comes to Philadelphia... I've been to Philadelphia's airport probably four or five times. Well, it's because it's a, right? uh, like a common point for us to go to from yeah, here, right? Yeah, if we're traveling, right? Yeah. So the, usually our, our layover whatever's in Philly. Over the years, I have had in Philly, I've had my first experience with Popeye's chicken. Okay, how was that? As a, On a scale from one to black, how good was Popeye's chicken? Well, not as good as losing two uh spine crawlers and this third drone but anyway um it was it was okay it was okay it was okay nothing right home i right. had the cornbread and it was like drier than a nun's vag and it's pretty so dry yeah it's real dry but and was it sunday no it wasn't i don't think either okay, so it wasn't as dry as a, as no. a nun's vagina it just on wasn't sunday? it just wasn't great and then okay. everybody told me i fucked up and i was supposed to get the bread like uh some roll or something uh-huh but anyway that's what i got and i thought popeyes was was overrated big time but maybe it was just one bad experience. Mm. And then I had uh, Chick-fil-A for okay. the first time ever in a Philadelphia airport. Okay. Which How was exponentially better than Popeye's chicken. I've heard great things about Chick-fil-A. I've also heard that there uh, there was that big you know kick up about, what was it? It was either something racist or something about homosexuals. One or the other, and they fucked up, and then a whole lot of people boycotted Chick-fil-A. Oh, okay. I don't yeah. know. I don't think I heard about but that. But their food was good, eh? Yeah, actually, you know pretty what? Good? Now I think I did hear about that. No, I, think I, mean, the CEO, I think the CEO got fired and shit. I think I he know, was, was... I don't know what happened. It was something crazy. Um, but anyway, so there was that, and Chick-fil-A was good. They had the waffle fries, okay. and, and they had special ketchup packets where when you open up the ketchup packet, it had a little... Um, Almost like a little funnel at the top, and you squeeze it, and you can put ketchup on individual fries. Oh, shit. Very, very cool. That's the future. That sounds like they stole that from Japan. So, anyway, it was dope. So, anyway, that was a good experience. And then I had, um, uh, which is what I was going to get to in the first place. What were we originally talking about? Um, shit. Nothing, really. Phil oh, well, I had a Philadelphia. I had a Philadelphia uh, cheesesteak. Cheese really cheese yeah. In Philadelphia, and okay. it was the worst cheesesteak I've ever had. Okay. So, but I'm That's, sure I was at the airport, so. Yeah, you can't judge anything by airport. No. Airport's about the worst of everything you're going to have. Yep. So if if, if, if Chick-fil-A was decent at the airport, it's probably even better outside the airport. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Same with Popeye's and Remember, stuff. Remember when we were coming back that one time we had to stop and we went to A&W and it was the grimiest yep. looking A&W in the history? Like, I'm pretty sure that if the food inspector was there, he wouldn't even have to get past the counter. What you could have taken a look. What is happening in this game, Dude, though? Dude, Blue is throwing over and over, and he literally has done nothing this whole game. He built this and died. I mean, to his credit, it's a slow death. Like, what is happening in this game? This game sucks. Why would you send this in? This game sucks. 
You know what I'm doing? I'm literally pa- I'm I'm literally pausing this game. Just All keep right. just keep going. Public service announcement? Yeah. Keep going. I'm going to do I'm going to do a little flashy mm-hmm. exploit thing here okay. to show off it. All right. Okay. And uh, I'm just keep doing your thing. Okay. What are well, we talking I, about? A and W. Talking about A and W. Yeah, we were at that. I don't even. It might have been. It might have been Philly's airport. Probably was. Uh, and we were on a layover that was pretty long. No, you know what? It Toronto, wasn't. wasn't it? No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't even in Toronto. It was. Um, it was the first airport. There's. It would have been in Cali somewhere, but uh, like San Francisco or something. Okay. But we, uh, yeah, we we got there. And we wanted to bite before the flight, and we went to the A and W. It was the last. It was the last restaurant in the court. Like it was on the very end yep. of the line. Went there and and uh, and ordered there. And I actually I regretted as I stood at the countertop. My in my brain was saying, "Stop! Don't know. What do you stop? Your mouth is still moving. Don't do it. Don't fuck." God damn it! Look at this cockroaches! You literally could see cockroaches mm. walking up like the side walls of this little stall that they had. Uh, I'm not sure, uh, you know, I'm not convinced I didn't get space aids or some other foreign disease. Uh, but the burger was freezing cold. The fries were freezing cold. The guy who delivered the food to me looked like he hadn't slept or bathed in what could have been weeks. Mm. Uh, and, uh, probably the shittiest, most expensive meal in combination I've ever paid for in my life. And I regretted every single bite. And I felt like ass afterwards. It was, it was a terrible experience. I don't think it'd get any worse. Cool. I mean, I mean, food poisoning would have been... Would have been the next low. The, the next low. Uh, we hopped into a new game. We're, yeah, just, we we're just rolling right we're into just the, going okay. right into the next one. Mr. Max is black. Yeah. Hit me up with the sound of eating shitty A&W and getting food poisoning. Oh man, I could really go for this A and W. I'm gonna get grab this mama burger. Let give me, me give me that root beer, bro. That's a, root beer is pretty good there. Oh, man, this is just. You know what? This doesn't taste very good. It's not, not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. You know, I thought that the idea here was much better than the than the outcome. Yeah. But you know what? I'm so hungry, and I've been sitting on a plane for four hours. I just gotta finish. I'm gonna it. deal with this. All right, I'm up. gonna deal with this. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I can go to the bathroom here. There you go. That was it. That's the show. That sounds about right. That's the A and W. Somewhere in between A and W and Taco Bell. Mm, I do like me some Taco Bell, though, man. I can't do it. I can. I can do it. Every, <laughs> I can do it every time, dude. I can't. And the do beautiful it. thing about Taco Bell is like it's cheap. You go to Taco Bell, oh, you can buy cheap. like a dollar tacos. And you can you can literally get like eight of them, and for eight bucks, and you're like, let's go. And you just stuff your face. I smother it with hot sauce, Louisiana hot sauce, and it's delicious. Oh. Your ass, though, my god, dude. Well, if you stuff it full of Louisiana hot sauce, anything's gonna light your ass up. Yeah, no, it lights it up. Um, this is officially game number nine, I think. We're doing two and one here because the last game was so short and bad. Five minutes and terrible, so we're gonna pretend it didn't happen. Yeah, down here in the bottom position, we have Sky Reaper, and up top. We have Asensky. 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 Um, all right, so what is the cheese going to be here? This could be a record. You know, I'm kind of hoping that all games are bad today. Just to say we've had it. Yeah. Just, just to say it's happened. It's been a miracle that we've gotten this far into like TV and cold casting and not had that happen. Yeah. So I mean, if it does happen, there were there were a couple of mediocre games, uh, better we've than mediocre. It, we've but had it going. Yeah, there's been no there's been no wow factor. We had a here. good we had a good run. Um, okay, so it is going to be yet another PvP. This is on the new patch as well. I would love to see some blank DTs. Still haven't seen those yet. No, would love to see. We them. haven't we haven't seen them uh, come to the forefront. It would be nice. Mm. Um, yeah, because they've got they got the blink, and it's like a twenty one second cooldown. I think it was. Yep. Look, look, you can see the difference that the uh, watch this once they once they. Shade again. Oh, yeah, watch. they get, like, nothing. So before they had a nine range, like a vision, and now it's down to two. That's it's, that's such a huge difference. It's crazy. Yeah, well, that was the great thing about Adepts is you could just throw a shade in there and just get the scouting information, and now you got to really, like, like look at look at the difference. Look, look at oh that. Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh. Before it was the whole base, dude. You've got to... You Before can't, it was that right there. You can't really scout with that anymore. You can't rely on that shit. No, you got to, like, split them up. You, you got to, like, you, the one's got to go one way, another's got to go another. And even then, you've got to be literally sitting on the building to see it. Yeah. Takes a lot more skill, that's for sure. You got to park out front. That is rough. 
there's the overcharge. It looks like these adepts are going to die. I still think and I wish that Blizzard would make it so that you have a choice between going 50 for a pylon or 100 for your nexus. Have the choice between the two. That oh, would yeah. be phenomenal for an overcharge. It's like have, a, have the old overcharge available or the new overcharge available. It would be pretty dope. Because I don't like the pylon one too much. No. I've never been a fan of it. No, but at the same time, I don't know. I feel like you give you give them too many options, and it does become a little broken just because they have so many options. I agree. I agree. I think I feel like you do one or the other. No. Yeah. Would you? Which one would you prefer? Would you prefer Nexus? Nexus, yeah. Nexus yeah. all day. Nexus all day. And I think they had to do that just because the way that Legacy was going. That there's so yeah. many. There, like especially with the Ravagers when that when it first came out and stuff. There's these really weird all ins. And you really just needed you needed a mothership core out fast. You needed to get some good uh, pylon placements and uh, and some overcharges. So I mean, it's good. I mean, you know, I just oh, I miss I miss old things, dude. I love Legacy of the Void, but I miss some of the old things. That's all. I'm sad. Very sad. Well, who knows? At the rate some of these patches are going and the, the, the strength. Of which they are being uh, modified. I'm gonna guess that eventually some stuff is gonna is gonna be fun. Yeah, uh, for sure. Well, Sky Reaper is gonna work his way out there. I'm not seeing any cheese in this game yet again. But hey, just today has been the the day of fuck cheese. Let's just let's just send the game in. Um, okay, well, and it, it's and they're all marked for will cheese fail. It's yeah. like it's crazy. Um, well, here we go. I mean, this might not be cheese, but it looks like it could be something entertaining anyway. You got two stalkers, two probes in this uh, in this war prism. So, what does he plan on doing with said probe? So, we still don't have the uh, the StarCraft Brood War um, remake yet. For is that really going to be a thing? Yeah, it's going to the re the redoing the campaign for in the StarCraft Two engine. What I would love to see is if they 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 did Brood War and they allowed you to play online through the StarCraft 2 engine with all of the Brood War units and settings yeah, and stuff like that. That's probably, that would be insane, that's dude. That's probably not going to happen. That would blow up StarCraft 2 again. What would you call it? Would you call it like StarCraft Brood War 2? Uh, the prequel sequel? I don't, I don't know what the you would call it. I don't know what you would call it, but I think the time for that has kind of come and gone. I think if they were going to do that, they, you know... Could have been a while that ago. Would have been, that would have been so huge. Anyway, yeah. this is a huge base race. I love the fact that he, he is building cannons uh, with his filthy. war prism. That was pretty filthy. Put down the cannons and the pylon behind while the the uh, while the prism was powering it, and then uh, followed that up with a big warp in. Mm. That was kind of nice. Shut down that expansion, and now he's kind of just got... Well, he's got the high ground, and we all know how that went for Anakin. <laughs> so uh, he's not going to have to worry too much about uh, getting pushed out of here anytime soon, and he's going to warp in some more units here, I'm sure, now that he's got pylons in the low ground, shutting that out. So this is a bit of a, a back and forth. This is kind of like a base race scenario here, I'm, I'm sure. Oh, you know what? Uh, you know what I found out? So What you, did you find out? Do you remember bad game? Bad bro. game. Yeah, it was a bad game. Um, okay, so do you remember... Who my favorite, um, my celebrity crush is. Do you remember her? Rachel Bilson? Mm, there you go. I remember. So you know what I found out about Rachel Bilson? Uh, she's unfortunately a Scientologist. No, that would be unfortunate. <laughs> she is married to Hayden Christensen. Oh, that's worse. She Fuck. is married oh, God, that's to, worse. Shitty, to shitty Anakin. Oh, shit. Is Anakin a Scientologist? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Found I don't that know. out, bro. What's what's worse, Hayden Christensen father or or Scientology? <sighs> Let us know in the comments just below. Pisses me off, dude. I was just so <laughs> I was like That's I was so disappointing. Yeah, he's man. such a shit actor. I hope he's just a really nice guy. I was like of all I was like, bad. you know what? I got my my new king size DX racer chair, and I was like, you know, I'm ready for a fap session, so I'm searching race, Rachel Bill some Oh Google, yeah, got to get. And it. I see a picture of her with him, and I'm like, what the fuck? Uh, Why was she with this douche? And I uh, looked up. Rachel Bilsom's husband, uh, and it's Hayden Christensen. I said, "Oh, oh my you didn't. God!" Tell me that didn't that, tell um, me that didn't kill your boner a bit. Bro. Oh, it was gone, dude. There was no fapping. No, um, you can't come back from something like that. I haven't came since. <laughs> 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 That's some powerful shit right that, there, dude. I'm telling you, man, it hurt. Bro. This just in: the number one birth control on the planet is Hayden Christensen. <laughs> Being married to dude, your celebrity crush. Dude, 
Oh, it was so bad. That dude. is so unfortunate. Bad. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, that that is it right there. Uh, two really bad games back to back. We had to combo we those together. We combo them. We had to do a combo just to make it serviceable. So, you know, it's it's like you're getting two shitty things, but at least you're getting two of them and not just one. Mm. Uh, shout outs to our sponsor, XSplit. Go and pick them up. Uh, try it out for a month or get the lifetime membership so you never have to pay again. Mm. Um, and then Yord Wood Watch. Go and buy them Christmas presents. I know a lot of you guys out there are thinking. What in the tits do I buy my girlfriend? What do I buy my parents? You know, I have I have gotten my parents just about everything I can imagine over the years. I need something unique. Well, how about a beautiful wood watch with mm. an engravement on there? Absolutely, because you can get engraving you done. You can now. get engraving done. I'm telling you, they're quality. We've had we have sold uh, hundreds of them. Literally. Oh, yeah. Hundreds. Oh, yeah. Hundreds and hundreds of hundreds them. Hundreds of them. Phenomenal watches. They look great. They're they're absolutely reasonably priced. The the wood is uh is like <laughs> my brain wanted to say ethically sourced, like trees had a like a like a personality or like a something, but uh but it's it's responsibly sourced. Um because my brain I'm too tired to think of the word I actually want to use. And uh, just a great product all, all all around. You would think they'd be kind of weak and break easily. They don't. No. Nope. Um. And uh, and just a really nice accent piece. It's something that not everybody has. No. And right? it's it's unique. Yeah. Right. And uh, and a lot Which of the times. Which is kind of like saying not everybody has it. <laughs> there you go. Not everybody has it. Yeah. And it's actually also unique. Well, there you go. <laughs> Jesus, man. These these games are hurting my brain. I can't even think 